Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to show you how to make thin, crispy sweet potato chips. Super yummy, super easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. So begin with a sweet potato. I'm just going to do one. Um, each sweet potato will serve about two people as far as the number of chips goes. And make sure to wash and dry that sweet potato. Start by peeling the sweet potato. You can leave the peel on. The peel is edible, so you can leave that on if you wish. Okay, and then you can just compost the peels, throw them away, whatever you want to do. You could also fry the peels or the skins individually as well and make a little like uh, fried uh, sweet potato skins if you want. All right, now with these, I'm going to take the ends and cut those off. And you can save these and you can just deep fry these as they are if you don't want to waste them or put them in your compost. And now, I have a bowl with ice cold water in it and I'm using uh, my filtered water because my tap water is gross. And so anytime I'm using water with cooking or baking, I always use my filtered water. And now I have a, called a mandolin slicer or a mandolin. And I have it set to two, which is the right thickness for nice, perfectly thin, crispy potato chips. And now we are going to slice these to make our chip shapes or thin little slices. If you don't have a mandolin, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can find this particular one. But it's not necessary, you can use a knife as well, but it is easier to get perfectly uniform chips using a mandolin. And we're just going to slice these right into that bowl. And when I get closer, I'm definitely gonna use my guard because that will slice up your fingers if you're not careful, okay? And if you want to make normal potato chips, I have a video on how to do that as well, which is identically, um, or pretty much exactly the same as what we're doing right now. And then when you get pretty close to the slicer, you can do the guard. Usually there's a guard that comes with it, and then we can just go like this. And so our fingers are protected. And now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna soak these sweet potato slices, nice thin sweet potato slices, we are going to soak them in the water for probably 20 to 30 minutes. And this is gonna help leach out some of that extra starch. And you can already see that the water is getting super cloudy. And that is the water doing its thing, getting that starch out. All right, once the slices of sweet potato have done soaking in the cold, ice cold water. I'm going to just drain this. Just hold my hand right next to those and drain it. And you can also just use a colander if you want. And now over to the stove top we go. Here I am over at the stove top and I have a pot with water and I have about an inch, inch and a half of water in there. And I have the heat set to high. I wanna bring that to a boil. Also over here in this pot, I have oil, about an inch, inch and a half deep of oil. And I have this heat set to medium. And I wanna bring this up to about 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil these potato slices. And that is gonna further bring out even more starch. And the reason why we are doing that is to make it so these chips turn out nice and a nice even color and they don't burn before they get crispy. And once the water starts to boil, I'm gonna take several of these sweet potato slices and just put them in here. Um, you don't wanna crowd it too much, but we could do probably about a third of them at a time. It just depends on how big of a bowl or pot that you're using. If you use a larger pot, you can do more at a time. And then you let the water come back to a boil, and then we'll boil it for three to four minutes. 
And then we can come in here with a wooden spoon or like a, this spider strainer and just move them around a little bit. Now you can skip this step. You can skip the boiling step. And a little bit later on in the video, I will show you the difference between the finished sweet potato chips, between boiling them before frying them and just straight frying them after soaking them in the cold water. And after they have boiled for three to four minutes, I'm going to just take them out of this hot water and then place them on a plate lined with paper towel just so they can dry a little bit before we fry them. And then once the oil gets to temp, we can take these and drop them in. Just be careful, the oil is really hot. And so if you are a young person doing this, just make sure you have adult supervision. We can take a spider ladle and we'll just kind of move them around a little bit. And then the way that you tell that they are done is they're gonna feel very crispy. And there's not gonna be a ton of bubbles anymore around the potatoes, the potato slices. All right, so these are done. Look, there's hardly any bubbles now around them. And if you take your ladle and you can, you'll be able to feel how crisp they are. And when you're done, you'll just move them over to another plate that has paper towel so they can dry. And also before they dry, you'll come in here and you can hit it with a, a little bit of salt. Or if you have some other seasonings that you want to put on it, you can do that as well. All right, the sweet potato chips are done and turned out fantastic. Remember, you can season these with salt and any other seasonings that you want to put on there, paprika, something like that, if you like. And now I'm just going to dive into one and show you what it looks like. Mmm. Hear that crunch? Amazing. Also, depending on the sweet potato, the type of sweet potato that you have, the color of it will vary a little bit. And there you go. And you can notice that I have some that are a little bit darker than others. I fried them a little bit longer than others. Now, if you look at this plate right here, I have some of the unboiled ones on the left. And you can see that they're much more dark than the ones on the right, which are done with the boiling, boiling first before frying. So again, the ones on the left, they were soaked in cold, cold water and then fried. And the ones on the right were soaked in cold water and then also boiled before fried. So there we go. Pretty awesome. Mm. If you like sweet potatoes and you like potato chips, give this recipe a try. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. So good.